So uh, our, our, our way of using this data intelligently is also going to evolve as we go. And so in the present era, we're sort of in what we call the business intelligence. And some people would say that word right there is just an oxymoron itself. But that's the current era we're in where people try to get an ad. Data analysis, we're talking about uh, you know, retrospective reports of uh, information to help managers to sort of utilize their organization better and they might find out that their operating room is not being used very effectively. They can make a better schedule and uh, increase the throughput and save a lot of money for their organization. And they can look at referral patterns or HEDIS measures, for example, to, to try to do this kind of work. We're moving into what we call the big data era and in this idea we're going to try to have data that we're uh, from inside our organization as well as outside our organization. So we may have some remote monitoring data or physiologic monitoring data from patients or maybe your social media data. Try to bring that together with our transactions and try to figure out what's going on and trying to uh, uh, do better predictive analytics, maybe uh, better diagnostic algorithms and things like that. And so this is the things that we're going to be doing in the next one to three years, probably maybe the next five years. And then eventually we're going to get to what I call these data enriched offerings where um, the analytics are going to be embedded in the products and services and this is going to allow us to, to better coordinate our care across the hospitals and to, to use imaging equipment, for example, to predict when it's going to break before it breaks and so they some can send a, a repairman out to fix it before it's uh, actually uh, broken. Um, and maybe a smart home for the elderly that can notice that your mom hasn't gotten out of bed for two days and maybe you ought to call her and go over and see her and see if she's okay. Um, you know, as we go on to this monitoring and big data, we're, we're getting into um, interacting more and more with people's lives and it's not clear whether everyone wants to be monitored and overseen and uh, uh, surveilled as much as we have. There's a lot of work in uh, science fiction that's talked about this and, uh, sort of a dysutopian society because of this. So you got to be careful.